Hey guys, it's me, Monica. I am going to do a little bit of a diet update in this video. This was actually requested by a number of you um, who have been watching some of my previous videos and you know that I've lost some weight and what specifically, you know, am I doing spending a little a bit more time talking about the diet than just mentioning it in videos. So if you're curious about my diet, what I'm doing, what I'm using, and a little bit of how I'm eating, stay tuned. So the first thing I wanna mention is that obviously I am not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not somebody that can give you advice. I can't counsel you on your diet journey. Um, any of that and obviously before anyone starts a program you should make sure that you're medically checked out by your physician which I was when I started my initial work on my health and my fitness and my diet I started as I think I previously said Thanksgiving right in November of 2022 so this coming November it'll be two years for me all right, and it was the night before Thanksgiving, I think, that I actually had started. I was <clears throat> getting dressed or getting undressed, and we were going to have everyone over for Thanksgiving at my house, a very small house, so it's always pretty stressful to try to figure it all out. And I, I just looked at myself, and I just was, like, so disgusted. I had gone to my doctor previously, my cholesterol was up a smidge, not a whole lot, nothing to be super worried some because I've always had pretty decent cholesterol, but it was up. And I was feeling tired, dragged out, all of that stuff. And I was, I was approaching, you know, uh, 68, 69, I think it was 68. Um, I knew that the clock, the, the, the longer, the older you are, <laughs> and use not a diet program, the harder it is to lose weight, the harder it is absolutely to maintain that weight, and the worse your skin looks. So, but I could not stand how I looked. I could not stand how slow I was moving at times, how, I just couldn't stand a whole lot of that. So I, I ended up deciding right then and there that, even though tomorrow was Thanksgiving, that I was going to not overeat, that I was going to start a diet program, combination of physical fitness and all that stuff. So I did. I started, I, um, you know, started to, to um, the next day, I just, I looked at my Apple Watch in a completely different way. So my Apple Watch, number one, has been the biggest impact for me as far as monitoring but I looked at my Apple Watch a different way than I did because I was usually always monitoring steps, you know, stuff like that. And that wasn't taking weight off. It was keeping me maybe healthier to a certain degree, but it wasn't taking my weight off. So I, I started to really explore deeply my Apple Watch. At the same time, I did have a follow-up visit with my doctor. And I think I mentioned that he had been really concerned about my weight and the fact that I wasn't taking it off and the fact that I was riding my bike and I was walking and nothing was coming off. Um, he did a complete workup, blood test, the whole nine yards. And he would have liked to, pre-diabetes, you know, he would have liked to have put me like on Ozempic. But my insurance, Medicare, it wouldn't cover it. And I wasn't going to spend $1,200, $1,300 out of my pocket a month to do this. I just, I couldn't afford it, number one. And my lifestyle was so busy. You know, my mom, the whole, everything was happening in my, in my world was just, you know, um, and I had also decided that I would basically, you know, try to kind of lower my hours a little bit at work, but I was still working. So anyways, he put me on another prescription very similar to it, but uh, I don't even remember the name of it. I didn't stay on it very, very long because it gave me bumps in my, and it didn't do anything. You know, I went for like three months and it, I hardly lost anything at all. And so I went off of that. Then he, he did prescribe a um, prescription drug to help boost my metabolism. And I remember saying to him, is this speed? <laughs> and he said, well, 
not really, but if you want to think of it that way, it does boost your meta metabolism and <clears throat> helps you stay active a little bit or feel fuller. So I did try that and I didn't really notice anything. And the weight was just, you know, this now it was like the beginning of 2023. We had gone uh, away. We'd gone down to Florida. I had visited with Marlene, with Sheila and, and all of that in South Carolina. So it was like, it was a busy few months and I was still very active. I was walking and nothing much was happening. So anyways, I did an adjustment on that medication, stayed on it for a little bit longer. It did seem to help boost me but it didn't seem to do very much. And I knew right then and there, because I was monitoring everything on my Apple Watch, I knew right then and there that I needed to do something that I could hopefully live with and would hopefully make me feel better, um, look better, and live longer, <laughs> maybe, you know? So <clears throat> I decided right then and there that I was gonna monitor my calories I was not going to go into a huge deficit because I didn't want to lose as much as you want to see the scale change. I did not want to lose weight rapidly. I didn't want to look like somebody. I didn't want someone to look at me and say, is she sick? Ooh, what happened to her? You know, I did not want to lose weight rapidly, especially a lot of weight, because I also know or knew back then that I would not be able to afford cosmetic surgery to lift the saggy skin or remove the other skin. And my, I knew my insurance wouldn't cover it. And I didn't want to go to some place where I could probably get it done, um, you know, in another country because I didn't, I didn't feel really good. So I started to really calculate what I needed to have as an intake for my calories and what I needed to do for activity levels. So throughout 2023, I, start, I joined the gym, I started to exercise more, I started to try to lift some moderate weights. I, I did a whole lot of different things, physical things. I went through several pairs of sneakers because I have a foot issue and I had to try to find sneakers I could walk with that didn't create a lot of pain. But I was walking a lot, I started to feel super good and, the, and then when you start to feel better and you think you're looking better, you get more motivated. So when I joined Planet Fitness, one of the reasons I wanted to join Planet Fitness is I knew I was going to winter in Florida and I wanted to be able to go to any Planet Fitness anywhere. So I got that black card membership. Anyways, I was going there and I was bringing Jay as my guest. Jay had uh, gone through hip replacement surgery, had some really struggles with it and ramifications with it. So he he was just going as my guest and he was slowly trying to get back into some routine, but I was getting gung-ho. So he hit Florida every day. I was out walking all the time. And when I say walking, I was probably, you know, easily doing three, maybe four miles, you know, in a course of day of physical walking, not just like walking around the house or, you know, the RV. And um, at the same time, I started to do supplements. I really tried to think of supplements that I could take. One of the things that I, I really have to rave about this because I don't know about you guys, but I need fiber in my diet and I need extra fiber to keep everything regular and flowing and all that stuff. Otherwise, I feel way more bloated and, and all that. So around, I don't, I don't know really now when it was, um, when I was, I think of the beginning of the year, I... Um, was contacted by this company for this colon broom and it's a premium blend dietary supplement it says for weight loss management for weight management for digestive health and for appetite control so it's a fiber supplement it's full of as far as I could tell really good things but mostly importantly to me I would take I would drink fiberol I would drink metamucil uh, to keep myself regular. And I always hated the taste. I always hated the taste. The citrus taste just really, really bothered me. So when when this company reached out to me and said, if we send you this, will you try it? I said, okay. I got it. I didn't start it right away. And it is it does want you to take this every day, maybe an hour before your meal. I, ha I was not very good at that uh, because I was always on the go. I have this in a strawberry flavor. Oh my gosh. I This is probably the first powder supplement that 
I can take that doesn't give me heartburn, that doesn't bother me, that tastes good. So I started to take this. I did notice when I took this um, that I was more regular. Did it help me lose weight? I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say it helped me lose weight, but it, I do believe it made me feel fuller when I did eat. So I would take it an hour before with water, mix it really good, and then drink it right down. Now, when I used to take Metamucil or Fibrol or whatever, I would drink it, mm -mm, you know, take another sip, mm -mm, type of thing. This, I would just drink the whole thing, and it tasted good. I really, really like it. I will link the information below. I have used this. I highly, I highly recommend a good fiber supplement for diet, colon brum. Seems to be really good. I, I've been very, very happy with it. It's something that I will continue to use. Tastes good. That's what I really like about it. It tastes good. It does kind of fill me up. So when I'm sitting down an hour later for a meal, I'm not going to just totally pig out. But I also have discipline. I don't know if I didn't have any discipline if I would, if this would stop me from picking out. I don't know. But what it does do that I know it does, it keeps me regular. And that to me, is super super really good i don't get any cramping i don't have any nasty gas it just keeps me regular so i really really like that product highly recommend it so other things that i've been doing uh, when we went to florida and i said i was walking like a maniac every day three to four miles uh, sometimes longer than i'd be riding my bike around and i was always monitoring how much active calories I burned on my Apple Watch. Not just the calories that you burn when you're breathing, but active calories, like what, what am I burning when I'm physically working out or taking a physical walk? And every time I did that, I would turn my exercise mode on. I'd go out the door and I would go for a walk. Even if I wasn't going to speed walk, I would turn my exercise mode on and I would monitor not the steps, but the active calorie burn. And that was the mindset I was in pretty well all of last year, the active calorie burn. I would really, once I did this Planet Fitness, I talked to a few people there and I really focused in on that and used my Apple Watch. So, so my Apple Watch to me has been the biggest thing to give me motivation because I see my active calorie burns. I know what calories I've taken in. I know if I'm at a level, a balance, if I want an ice cream cone, I have an ice cream cone. If I want French fries, I'll have French fries. Now, granted, we've been up in Maine a lot, right? And we've gone out to dinner a few times. We've had lobsters and steamers. And I'll eat lobsters and steamers. I don't have a whole lot of butter because I don't put butter on my lobster anyways, but I will on my steamers. And if we go somewhere, I'll have fried clams and, you know, onion rings and stuff like that. I have not denied myself my favorite foods. And, but what I have done is I don't eat as much of it. I can see that my stomach has probably shrunk a little bit. And I can also see where I'm at with my calories. And I have a good idea roughly of how many calories the food is. So I know that maybe today's going to be a total loss for me as far as not losing anything. But I'm okay with that. Because I, I know I know it's coming off. I know I've reshaped my body. I've lost sizes and inches and gained muscles. So I'm okay with that. I know as long as I stay physical, I'll do that. So anyways, when we went to Florida, I walked all the time. We did Planet Fitness. We did all of that. Then we went to Myrtle Beach. I think we went to Myrtle Beach March 1st. March 1st and Myrtle Beach were Oceanside. So every morning I would go out and I would walk along the beach. I built myself to up to four miles usually, back and forth on the beach, in the sand, walking. And then in the afternoon or early evening, if Jay was teaching in the, in the RV, I would go to the indoor pool they had. They had a heated indoor pool at the RV resort. And I would swim for an hour, hour and a half. Just, you know, not so much just like swimming, swimming, but exercising in the pool, kicking my legs, doing back floats, doing, you know, doing the breaststroke, doing, doing all sorts of different activities in the pool. And I loved it so much that I always started to do this even when Jay was not teaching and he came with me. So after the first time that he came with me, he was like, wow, this is really good. He could exercise. There was no impact. And that's what I was loving. So from that point on, I was swimming 
almost every day down there, walking on the beach, riding my bike, and I absolutely loved it, loved it. Uh, we went to visit Sheila, and um, we did a whole bunch of different things. You know, uh, when we were in Florida, I visited Marlene, we went on a cruise. We, we had a pretty active winter, but I also knew that when I was coming home that I didn't have a pool. And I had to really figure that out. So the second thing that I did was join um, Silver Sneakers. So Silver Sneakers is a program that works with your insurance and Medicare. So if your insurance is in that Silver Sneakers, you know they they approve it, then you can you can go for free. Um, some places might charge you a application fee, but you can go for free all if, if it's a Silver Sneaker facility. So I found two gyms near me that have indoor pools that accept silver sneakers. The first one that we go to most of the time is Salem Athletic Club. They have a big indoor pool. We go swimming when we're home almost every day for an hour at least. And then the second one is the workout club. They charge a $10 um, initiation fee, big deal, right? But then they accept silver sneakers and they have three. So my camera shut off. <laughs> I had to go reset it. So I don't know if I'm in the same position or not. But anyways, um, the workout club has three different locations and they have a pool set up and saunas and all that. Um, they have locations near me in Londonderry, about 30 minutes away. Um, they have one in Manchester, about 35. And then they have one in Salem, which is about 20. So both of these facilities take silver sneakers. So we can go anytime we want which is almost daily. Sometimes Jay and I go together. Sometimes his schedule allows him to go, uh, you know, at a different time. So we go separately. It doesn't much matter. But almost every day between the two of us, we are using our silver sneaker benefits and swimming when we're home. And I was so happy to find that. Um, we go to the sauna and, and all of that. So even though we were doing all this exercise and I was losing more weight than Jay or trimming down than Jay, but I had started a lot sooner and I was also eating much differently. I was monitoring my calories where he really wasn't. I ended up getting and hearing in a over, over a conversation was to get some packages of electrolytes that you can put in a water bottle. And these have been a game changer, you know, as much as my Apple Watch my fiber and my overall, you know, being able to be physically active has helped me. I do realize that I get drained, especially after an hour of swimming. And when we're up in Maine, we joined the YMCA there. And the YMCA in Maine, in Booth Bay Harbor, is gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. They have a big, huge pool. Then they have a warmer therapy pool. Then they have a beautiful sauna, clean, clean facilities. Oh, I can't, I can't tell you how, how much I love that place. So we would go when we were in Maine, we'd go and swim, work out. So a couple of times I took spin classes up there. Um, they have an indoor track. If you wanted, you could walk, but I just walk around the campground. And so after the regular pool, we go in the therapy pool, which is like 90 some odd degrees. And we do stretches in that pool. And then we go into the hot tub, uh, not the hot tub, the sauna. And I was noticing that I was feeling drained, you know, after I'm like, oh, I could just sleep. So I ended up getting these Propel vitamin packs. These are vitamin C and zinc. It's not a full vitamin pack, but mainly it is basically going to give me what I what I really need is the electrolytes. I, so I put this in the water and I drink it, especially after sweating in, say, the sauna. You, your body needs those electrolytes. So I've noticed when we started to take the extra electrolytes, I have way more energy during the day. And I don't have, um, I, I don't have, and Jay probably doesn't even know this, he doesn't have it either, those leg twitchy things at night. Uh, I don't have any of that. So that was really, really good. I also take a prenatal supplement. Um, yes, I'm not pregnant, uh, but I take a prenatal dietary supplement. I just think that they're better than a woman's supplement. You know, um, it, it's better for your hair. It's a multiple vitamin. You know, there's a lot of, lot of different things in your prenatal supplement, whichever one you want. I buy this one. I like the gummies because I have a hard time swallowing pills. So I know it's going to, you know, sweet content, sugar content, but that's okay. So I end up just getting these in Walmart or Sam's Club. And then I also get a magnesium citrate um, supplement 
250 milligrams and I usually take two of these gummies a day. So that that's pretty well all the vitamins that I take is my prenatal and my magnesium citrate. And that's it. This I will take typically before my supper, my, di my meal. And then this I will have maybe once a day. Um, Depending if I'm doing multiple workouts, I could have one later in the day, but typically it's after I bring it with me to wherever I'm working out and I will drink it. If I'm walking, I bring it with me there as well. Really, really like um, how I'm feeling. I am approaching almost 50 pounds. It's been a slow, slow process for me. Uh, my cholesterol is way down. My last blood work, they took blood work on me. Everything was like unbelievably good. Uh, my cardio strength, my, you know, heart rate, all of that, my blood pressure, everything is awesome. And I do think, you know, even if you have to take a supplement, you're on Ozempic. I have, I have a friend that does Ozempic because he's diabetes. And we went out to dinner with him last week and he's lost a lot of weight. And he... He looks good because he's lost a tremendous amount of weight, but he doesn't have any muscle. And I keep telling him, you've got to start to work out to maintain your muscle. I, I really feel that even though I have lost almost 50 pounds, it's, it'll be two years, the end of November. I, I really feel that because it's been so slow. And, and I do have a ton of flappy skin, my arms, my, my leg. I mean, I have a ton, my, my jowls. Um, but I think that it could be a lot worse if I didn't exercise and work out and, you know, monitor what I'm doing with my Apple Watch. I love my Apple Watch. I'm probably going to upgrade my Apple Watch. I think this is, I've been, I have, my gosh, this is probably my third Apple Watch I've gone through. I've, I go, I have been using an Apple Watch for a long time and maybe my fourth. But I'm going to upgrade my Apple Watch when the new one comes out because I think it has a whole lot more health benefits. When I go to work out, I put it in my exercise mode. I select what, what workout I'm doing. If it's swimming, I'm going to be doing laps in the pool or outdoor swimming, different. I select my laps. I make sure that my yardage is for the pool, 25 yards, selected correctly. And then when I hit it, it's going to waterproof my watch. So my watch then becomes waterproof and I can wear it in the water and not worry about it. So I monitor the active calories. I burn more calories actively in swimming in an hour and doing my water exercise, my swimming in an hour than I do walking the beach, than I do riding my bike, than I do any other exercise. And I don't have any joint pain. I think on average I can burn, and I usually have to push it, anywhere between six and 700 active calories. I'm actually burning a lot more, but active calories is when my heart rate gets to a certain point, you know, because I'm swimming or whatever. Six to 700. My goal is 700. I don't always make it. Um, but six to 600 to 700 calories in that hour time frame. And then if I go, if I'm up in May and I go in the therapy pool, I burn another 25 while I'm stretching type of thing. The Apple Watch or any fitness watch that you have. It doesn't have to be an Apple Watch. I'm just an Apple person. So my Apple Watch, I love it. It syncs to my phone. It syncs to my laptop. I can monitor everything I'm doing all the time. And I'm not, I'm not like obsessed with it, but I, lo I love what I can see and do when I'm using it. I know this video is getting super strong, long, um, and I apologize for that. I, you know, some of you may not watch this, but when you're 70 and you lose weight, it's difficult to look halfway decent. And I did not want to look like someone, you know, that has been, there are many people that I know that are sick and they look like they're sick and that, you know, and they're getting better. Um, and, but even they will say they're too thin type of thing. I, I did not want to look that way. So I did not want to, for planning to lose weight, to do it fast. So I wanted to do it slow, even though it's frustrated, I wanted to do it slow. So I work out a lot. And because I work out a lot, I love these little fresh and up on the go. These are sort of like deodorant wipes, women's deodorant wipes. Um, I love them. I think you can probably get them anywhere. You can get them maybe TJ Maxx or certainly on Amazon. I got these in Maine at uh, a store called Remy's in Maine, but I'm sure, you know, maybe I'll look for them and link them. But I love these deodorant wipes. I mean, if, if you don't have time in between you walking and you come back and you, you know, you don't have time to take a shower, 
Um, these deodorant wipes are awesome. And even after I swim, I usually go in and take a shower. I'll still use a deodorant wipe. You know, I don't know. But I love those deodorant wipes. I love my, you know, liquid electrolyte packets, my packets of electrolytes to add to my liquids. I just think they're amazing. And, you know, my supplements, you know, prenatal, that's really good for me. And then my magnesium and my citrate. And most importantly, my colon broom. I, yeah, this is awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So anyways, if you have any other particular questions, please ask. Um, I'll do, oh, I do planks every day. I do planks every day. I've worked myself up to three planks in the morning and, and one minute each. And when I first started doing those planks, I could barely get to 10 seconds, right? Now I'm doing one minute on each of those three planks and I can feel it in my ab muscles. So yeah, anyways, I just really monitor monitor it. That's what works for me. I can't take a shot. Uh, the pills don't seem to do, you know, didn't do much. Um, you know, I just try my best to monitor my activity. I love my Apple Watch. And I finally found a fiber that I can drink and not go, Ugh. So I'm really liking that as well. So that's it for me, guys. Leave me a question if you have one, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.